Hey guys, welcome to Fez Air Software. Today I'm going to do a disassembly and internal review of this Arcturus AK-12. So a quick note on safety, if I'm unboxing, shooting down range, doing disassemblies, I always make sure I'm nice and safe. So I've always got eye protection on just in case something happens. Make sure mags are out and empty, and obviously unless I'm doing the shooting. Obviously that's using chrono, and make sure that there's no mag ammunition left in anything as well. So make sure you're doing the same. Hi guys and welcome back. If you do enjoy this content today, please do like and subscribe because you'll get notifications when my new videos are out and you're going to be really helping me out. So... We've got the Actress AK-12 here, and uh, so we're going to get into this, hopefully you've seen the unboxing, I will put the link down below to the unboxing of this, uh, Taiwan Gun Centers to this, it's absolute beast of a piece of kit, it's rock solid, it's uh, it's quite weighty and meaty, it performs absolutely beautiful, um, so a few people now have requested it, and I like to do the disassemblies just to see what's going off. So we're going to get into this disassembly then, I'm going to start with the stock. Now. It does look like it should be a normal uh, AR type, type type stock where you pull it to the end and then you should be able to pull this pin down. Not with this one. What I've discovered is two different things. So we're going to pull on this little bit forward here and that's going to release a pin that allows the stock pad to come off. And we can see down the stock. Now this pin here is actually stopping the stock to come off. So what I can do is looking like it's going out that way and we we'll turn it over. I'm gonna no, not that one. I'm just gonna tap this pin out. There we go. And now that stock just slides off. So what happens is that pin there just catches on this hook, and that gives you access. Put those together out of the way. Gives you access to the stock tube. Now it is a hinge joint. The stock tube itself is not a traditional M4AR style stock tube, it's actually pinned on uh, to there. So if you wanted to change this, you're going to have to have one with a pin, although it's that solid and well built, I don't imagine a reason why you would want to particularly change it. But that gives you access then to the hinge there, and to remove this, if you take the pistol grip off, bring that back on camera, this pin will just pull out, and we'll have a look at that uh, shortly as we get back around to that. So I'll lock that back in place for now. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to look at removing the top cover. So if you did see the live video, you'll see I had a little bit of an issue with this because there was an extra clip on there. Uh, and uh, I've loosened that off now. And this pin, does that need to go up? This pin, if you get it in the right position, somewhere, famous lots of words, will uh, come out. It's, uh, hold on, press that there. It's uh, not always easy trying to uh, do this on camera while floating it in the air. And this pin continues to give me issues coming out. There we go. So, finally managed to get them lined up just enough that the pin slid out. And there is the pin. So I can remove that. Get that out of the way put that to one side so to remove the uh, rear sight it's just a little allen key screw in there x key screw and that slides off which we did in the uh, in the not live unboxing so next thing we're going to do is we're going to have a look at getting the suppressor off the muzzle brake off uh, suppressor muzzle brake off so that it's actually a little hex key grub screw in there Just a case of trying to find the right size. Nope. A little bit bigger. There we go. So that's quite fiddly to get in there. And that I would have thought. Taking that out slowly. That scrub screw out. There 
it'll go. Now, that was spring compressed, but wasn't moving very easily. So taking the grub screw out has just freed it up. But then what it allows me to do is, oh, it's a sort of quarter twist on. Wow, that's, uh, wasn't expecting that at all. So that just twisted round and locked in place there using the pin. And then it's just a quarter twist round and then pulls off and it exposes a end of barrel. I'm just going to take, in fact, I'll tell you what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that grub screw back in just to, so I know I'm not going to lose it. It's uh, a very detailed build, I will say that. It's, uh, there's no um, like corners cut or anything here. This is like absolutely rock solid. So that is springing now. Now what I'm going to have a look at in seeing if I can get this off to see if it exposes any threads because it looks like it's an extension. So let's see if I can get under there. And it does. So I just, just grabbed hold of it with my needle nose pliers and that is a negative thread and that would be a 40 mil negative thread under there. And there's our tight ball barrel, the Arcturus tight ball barrel. So that just tightens back down back onto there and obviously just neatens it up, protects the end of the barrel. So we know we can change the uh, muzzle brake if we want to have a suppressor on there if you really want to. to. Click that back in and that's locked back in place. Beautiful. Right, next thing, let's see if we can get these hand guards off. Now, by the looks of it, I should be able to, but I may need to remove these rails here by the looks of it, I think. So, these are some quite big, chunky, uh, not quite that chunky. Uh, hex key screws in here. So that is 316 apparently. And that does just come off like that, nice and easy. And uh, let's see if the other one is the same, it should be. Maybe that I don't need to do this at all. So can I separate those out? No, but that does. It looked like it started going forward that then. To be fair to our actress, when these plates are dropped down in here, look in my camera, they are self-locating in there, which is uh, quite handy and useful. Right. Now at the minute, I don't seem to be able to get this off unless it's to do with removing this. I wonder if I have to remove this. Uh, so this part here uh, is the um, tool that's used to uh, access the quick change spring. So there's a little push pin in here and then the key twists out and that can be used to access the um, quick change spring in the back of the gearbox. Now it looks like, I suspect, I may need to because it looks like there should be a grub screw in there because I'm guessing maybe knocking these two pins out will release this front assembly which I'm guessing takes this upper assembly which will release the lower with it. I think I'm more or less right. So they are C clips. So let's see if I can knock those through and get into there. So I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say Actress really don't want you to take that front sight post off and change that. But I would assume those two pins out, the front one just would not budge at all. Despite me really going at it, it's just not moved at all. No, they definitely don't want you to get in there and access that at all. So for now I'm gonna leave it, but if you've got the time or the inclination that you want to change these um, hand guards, then it looks like it's these two pins need to come out and the this upper hand assembly will come away. Now I shouldn't need to get in there to change and work in here. I should be able to just access these Allen key bolts here and this pin here, and that should be everything we need. So let's get to work on that. I'm gonna release these two Allen key bolts first, and uh, hopefully, yeah, I can get in there. So 
So what I'm going to do for the purpose of this is I'm going to remove these just so they're not digging into anything or holding into anything like any pins and can't cause any issues. And obviously always make sure that you keep them in an order where you know what everything is. So next thing I'm going to do, it looks like, well you can see the teeth are right there. So I'm going to knock this pin out. As you're looking down the gun, that way out. That came out far, far easier than I was expecting it to, which is always good. Now, I'm looking at, I think, this is also another pin that needs to be knocked out here. So I'm gonna move that pin. So taking that pin out as well now. So there wasn't actually any teeth on that, so it shouldn't, shouldn't make a difference, I don't think, which way I take that out. Now I'm hoping that should, I was hoping it would have released the uh, front assembly, but let's uh, take the charging handle, spring and rod out. That comes all the way back and out. Now at this point, aha, and there we go. So the outer barrel, there we go. It's all coming loose, there we go. So, not perfect, but there I've now got access to, obviously, the gas block and everything. Um, that looks like it's sort of loosely just pushed onto there, tightened onto there. I would hazard a guess I was right in saying that these should or could come out to obviously release this. I'll just slide those back in there for now until we put that back together. The bottom pin was holding the bottom hand guard in, so the bottom pin could have released and just given us a little bit more room. What I can do now is I can get I'm just going to carefully take that spring off. So that spring was on the outer barrel. Look at the length of that barrel. Um, so I'm going to take out these two uh, Phillips heads. One. And two. And then I'm also going to remove this plate down at the bottom. So I've used a size 9 Torx for that. I used a size 8 Torx for the little grub screws that were holding the barrel in. And I will need just something to pull that out of the way. And that should come free and loose. And then there's even an L block in here. They're making sure that this hop's not going anywhere to guarantee maximum uh, sort of compression and that lifts up and out. So there we have our standard Arcturus type bar barrel. Um, that is absolutely, even this is after a few games of use, this is absolutely spotlessly clean down there. And uh, let's see if you can see down there. That is the hop sitting for two five gram BBs and it's the range and accuracy is just awesome. So that's the current maximum. I found the hot rubber's really nice quality as well. So I'll turn that fully hot off. So the next thing then is we're going to release the gearbox out of there and see what the, is inside the gearbox. So again, I need to get in an even bigger one. Now these are Allen key or hex bolts, but I find that Torx often grip a little bit better into these bolts, uh, into these screws and uh, remove things. So I've just taken that out and that should now release and it does everything's just like nice and not in a bad way tight fitting but it's everything's sn very snugly fit which is always reassuring now this is a screw itself which we uh, sometimes see on some variants of AK which I'm not a big fan of personally um, but you know it's just something to be aware of that this will need loosening oh it's not I'm actually telling the lie I was confused. That is actually a little stopper that goes in the top. It's actually, oh wow, that's impressed me much more. And it's another size again. There we go. So this is a size 15 Torx. And that's just coming out nice and easy. 
that's actually like impressed me no end so obviously as we do with AKs be very careful when you're taking this out lift that up very delicately and the cam see that's a smart choice that the cam's actually like welded to and cast as part of by the looks of it as part of the actual selector um, I like that that's a that's a good feature now we should in theory be able to just wiggle that up and out paying attention to not nip wires where possible there we go there's a selector system that was just catching a little bit in places so there's the inside of the metal body absolutely it feels absolutely rock solid most of the weight well it's quite evenly weighted actually between the stock and the uh, the front system here that connects into the gas block and everything so i'll put that to one side now we've got the outside of the gearbox so we've got the spring unwind feature there so when i press that in it unwinds the gearbox and unwinds the spring we've got our selector system just much like a standard uh, ak um, this system again drop it down a little bit there we go so we're on safe so just like you would normally get these teeth all marry up together it pivots on this bit and it connects onto here so that's currently on safe um, absolutely rock solid uh, and, and really nice looking everything's well, like you would expect with that just you look at the reviews and things and the, the internals they're just solidly built so the change spring system then you're just going to get your tool on there and it's going to take a little bit of force um, just to loosen that off just check yeah it says there we go a little bit of force so this is like a securing screw that holds it in and locks it at the back um, put that there with that stuff and then this system here you just use a big flat head and it's in quarter turn and there it goes out of the back and there's our spring it was in there drop that on there so next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to lower the camera down and we're going to have a good look at the internals of this i can see though uh, before i do that 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 is micro switch based so let's lower this down so i brought my uh, ballistic designs uh, mat in here just to try and keep the grease off my uh, my lovely mat I do look like my background so first thing I'm going to do is just going to disconnect the wiring so the black terminal was at the front of the grip and the red terminal is at the back the wiring looks all of a nice quality it's all well placed into it, like the running tracks and everything just I literally can't fault the build quality of it, it just looks brilliant so let's get this motor out of the way I do like these mats wiggle the motor out there's the motor so it's had a good few thousand rounds through it uh, that's a little bit of grease on the end but in general that's looking really nice not particularly showing masses of sign of wear which is obviously what you would want in terms of magnet strength it's quite a soft magnet but turns out quite a decent rate of fire so you know the, the only thing for me that i would want from an ak-12 is a faster rate of fire so i'd possibly look at a high speed um uh, motor for it but it's really not needed you know it performs really nicely on its own next thing i'm going to get rid of this top plate here so i'm just going to be very careful not to nip any of these wires what i might need is to just use a screwdriver to twist against there just to push it and get it started there's the plate out of the way and then it's a case of we've got two screws here one up here and a few screws around here now i'm going to take this plate off i'm not sure i can't remember if this needed to come off in the ak04 was it before or 05 i'm going to remove it it does look like it holds that in and uh, helps with things but we'll just put that out of the way so get these out of the way in fact i forgot to take this off so this just helps to keep 
your fingers and other components and dust and dirt from getting inside the gear set. I uh, regularly forget to put these back into the version 3 gearboxes and then get virtually fully rebuilt and then look at it and think, oh, damn it, not again. And then you have to go through partial disassembly to get back to it to uh, put it back in. So I'm making sure that the screws stay together in an order where I know where they've come from. screw there we go there is a little brass tube with that one so make sure you don't lose it because that will stop that over compressing with the screw and damaging the gearbox so that just sat in between those two bits so now I should be able to very nicely and lightly just pull that up so to me that looks very well shimmed uh, it looked really nicely shimmed sat in there. It's well greased. It's not the big blue daubs that we get with sort of like the seamer stuff. Let's lift the cylinder set out. So tappet plate, nice solid looking tappet plate. A little bit of grease on there, but no signs of wear. The cylinder is vented. And there's your... That's just grease on there. That's not actually signs of damage. It's just grease. So I'm just going to see what the compression is like. Oh, that. See. Now that is compression. That is what should happen. When you push that in, there shouldn't be any movement past there. So with the air nozzle on, a tiny, tiny little bit of air leak allowing me to push it in. But there's a lot of pressure. It's taking a lot of pressure to do that. So that's telling me that's working well in terms of compression in the gearbox. I'm really happy with that. Let's just um, quickly drop this back on. I can't. And what I'm going to do is just see. Now it's not spinning wildly fast. And I dare say that might be the grease maybe binding it a little bit. And I can't quite get a full spin on it, but that's spinning without any real resistance. I'm, I'm now compressing the gearbox tight. That's spinning without any real resistance at all. So I'm quite happy with that. That's looking nice. Your gear set, I'll be honest, doesn't look that dissimilar to a SEMA gear set. You've got lift up the set to gear. You've got silver cut off lever there, which can sometimes be the reason of the um, the double shots on an eleven point one that that's just not quickly quick enough pulling the trigger out and cutting off the uh, the current and things. Um, so obviously you might want to look at that or just possibly re wiring in a MOSFET of some variety. But in general, I am um, thoroughly thoroughly and I continue to be thoroughly impressed with the Arcturus stuff. You know, this is the second one I've had. The build quality is just absolutely exceptional. They're rock solid. Um, you know, I've skirmished a couple of times with it and it's just taken anything I've thrown at it. Um, the mags have been brilliant and fed lovely. Um, just look, looking at the quality of that, it just, it looks like it's nice. It looks like it's gonna last uh, a long time. Uh, and I've been really, really happy with that. Uh, if you have got any questions, please let me know do know down below and if you've got any suggestions for future unboxings and things let me know as well uh, just one extra thing i've a little seen is the uh, first gear is actually on bearings just to help it spin a little bit uh, nicer just wow really really impressed me this has really impressed me and uh, so i hope that's been useful to you um, thanks for watching please do make sure to subscribe because it will get notifications when my new videos come out and i will see you next time bye